Okay, we'll go ahead and start. Uh, my name is Jimmy Davis, Sheriff of Loudoun County, J-I-M-M-Y-D-A-V-I-S. And we're doing a press conference here today to just try to bring everybody up to speed on uh, the recent events that happened today involved from the shooting that happened uh, late last week. Uh, earlier today, the, the Smoky Mountain U.S. Marshals and the Smoky Mountain Task Force Unit, along with some Knox County and uh, uh, deputies that are assigned to that task force, uh, had been tracking Mr. Burtz that was, we believe, involved in a shooting last week. Uh, been tracking him all weekend, found his location, was able to take him into custody without incident. So James R. Burtz is now in the Loudoun County Jail facing charges of attempted first degree murder, especially aggravated kidnapping, aggravated domestic assault, and bond restriction violation, I believe. Uh, also accompanied with him is a Richard Dixon, uh, right now, he was also taken in custody because he was in the accompaniment of a fugitive. So we're taking him right now on investigative hold, probably an accessory after the fact, but we're waiting on our DA's office to make that call of exactly what to charge him with. So they are both in custody. Uh, everyone uh, was fine. Everything was very uh, professional on both parts. So we appreciate the Smoky Mountain Task Force and their uh, tireless work all weekend to try to track down Mr. Birch. And Chair, first question I'll ask you is uh, we were told earlier that you've had uh, prior run-ins with Mr. Birch. What were those? Correct. Uh, he ha he's actually out on bond right now uh, dealing with the same victim of aggravated domestic assault where he allegedly had, not his court day, but he allegedly assaulted her with a log inside their home uh, in August of this year. Is that the only run-in you all have had? Have you had multiple calls? That's there? the only one that I know of, especially to the severity of an aggravated assault domestic. And with the nature of this situation, I mean, how uncommon is it to see just the details we've been provided a situation escalate to something quite like this? Well, I mean, domestic violence is obviously a, a problem that we have, that everybody has in the country. Uh, harder times bring back harder, you know, we had a lot of problems during COVID. Now with financial issues, we're having problems as well. But when it gets to this point of someone, a, a victim that's been already allegedly assaulted, felony, levels before and now again to the severity of being shot three times. Uh, it doesn't happen very often, thank goodness, but it does happen, definitely. And what stages of the investigation are y'all currently in right now, if you can, what you can share about that? Right now they're housed in custody and we are uh, doing a search warrant for the property where they were found. It was in the Powell area of Knox County. Uh, so that's where he was found. Uh, a firearm was found. It is not the firearm used in the uh, assault. However, we're doing a search warrant right now in conjunction with Knox County and the Marshals Task Force to search the property to find any more evidence or anything that leads to uh, to help convict him of this crime. What does it say about the law enforcement community that y'all are able to work together in such a cohesive way? Oh, it's 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 fantastic! It's fantastic. I mean, we've we've you we've been everywhere from Roan County, Loudoun County, Blount County, Knox County, and the U.S. Marshals and the Task Force is a, such an asset to our community. Uh, and being able to deal with, you have, we've used state, I believe the Highway Patrol will also use their helicopter, so it's state, local, and federal agencies that brought this to a close because it was a danger to the public. If he's going to shoot or allegedly shoot his wife three times, there's no telling what he'll stop to do to try to escape uh, apprehension. So it's made the whole area safer. And just to piggyback on what you just said, though, about domestic violence, not just to him in particular, but... Yeah. Just in your time as sheriff, how often do have you seen situations like this that initially start out with assault that escalate further and further and further into what allegedly right now is attempted? Yeah, well, I mean, with domestic violence, you know, I've been doing this right at 30 years, and when I was on in the jail and on patrol, it's always a problem, and everybody thinks it's an easy scenario. You know, victims feel trapped. There, it's not just physical abuse. A lot of it is mental and emotional abuse as well that can be just as damaging to a victim, whether it's male on female, female on male, or whatever relationship they may be. Uh, here lately, we've had a lot more violent incidences with domestic violence, uh, but it's just an issue. To work. There are resources out there available if anybody is a victim of domestic violence. There's safe houses, there's financial, there's legal assistance. It's uh, usually through our DA's office. Russell Johnson is our district attorney general. And we have a great uh, communication and relationship with him and services for domestic violence victims. Are there any court dates set yet for him, or is it still? Not yet. They just got into the jail a little while ago, and 
we're still, our detectives are in training, so they're coming back to do an interview process tonight. So they'll probably be working through the night on the investigation, on the interview and interrogation of them. I guess the last question I'll ask is, do you believe Mr. Burks to be a danger to society? Absolutely, 100%. And like I said, it's the, it's, the, it's the correlation of being able to use state, local, and federal agencies. That's, what, that's why we live where we live, because it, it works out well. Uh, and in our region, every sheriff around will brag on it. We all have great relationships, and uh, that's why we do what we do. Awesome. Appreciate it. Sure, Thank I you appreciate all. It. All right.